Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, as every video I am, Brugly. And today I'm going to be talking about an enigmatic backrooms level called the Foundry. This one is literally a dystopian, futuristic, industrial nightmare, and it's also very liminal. So if that sounds cool, stick around for the explanation. And uh, speaking of that, Let's get right into it, shall we? Also, sub to my second channel and help me get to 50k subs if you don't mind. Thank you. Backrooms level The Foundry is a pretty unknown and really strange level in the backrooms. And it's classified as a class 2 difficulty, which makes it unsafe and unsecure with a low entity count. It's really the level itself that's dangerous, and <laughs> you'll see why. The level is pretty much an extra dimensional area that is thought to exist in the back room somewhere. I say extra dimensional because it has so many different aspects inside of it that are also different levels and sub levels, so the area as a whole is just extra dimensional. The top part of the level is the sky, but some people would call it a roof or a ceiling because there are no stars, no sun, no moon, none of that can be seen. It might just be a huge roof, but if it is a roof, then it's too big and tall to see where it's at. Yeah. If you do look up, you'll just see a huge black void with nothing in it. The lower zone is the very bottom of the level. Now this location is what seems to be an ocean of glowing melted metal. That's right, an entire ocean of hot liquid metal. The ocean expands out in every direction as far as the eye can see, and unlike big bodies of water from real life, this ocean is very still and doesn't move much. The only time it ripples and moves is when huge air bubbles come from under the surface and then pop, which will obviously cause it to move. Now, of course, it's weird enough to see a liquid metal ocean, but a more interesting question is, how does it stay fully liquid? Metal like this would cool down really quickly and harden if there wasn't a heat source constantly keeping the liquid hot. Now, it would be pretty easy to keep a small amount of metal as a liquid, but to keep an entire ocean as a liquid, that would mean there's some kind of huge behemoth heat source at the bottom of it that's constantly keeping it warm. No one knows how deep this metal ocean goes or where it came from or where the heat source is, so it's just gonna stay a mystery for the time being. Now the next part of the level is the zone that is referred to as the Foundry. Now this place is on top of a support structure that's made up of big beams and girders, which is kind of like metal framing, and this huge scaffolding structure that holds up this massive platform. And the Foundry itself sits on top of this massive platform. The platform itself is thought to be around 5 miles in size, and the Foundry building is thought to be around 3.5 miles in size, which is absurdly huge if you didn't know no, especially for a factory, it's massive. Now this is where it starts to get strange. The outside of the foundry never changes how big it is, but the inside does. Like the volume of space on the inside of the building can get bigger or smaller, but the outside never changes. The foundry building looks kind of similar to a huge oil factory from real life, and inside it's full of pipes and railing, ladders and smokestacks, and these huge beams holding the roof up. The building has so much stuff in it that it can get really really confusing really really fast and it's pretty easy to just get lost in on top of that this building has some really strange non-euclidean effects the main one is that the building itself will fold and glitch on top of itself to where it looks like it's stacked up on each other and it goes straight up to form this weird tower of a nasty machinery light thing so yeah so far, we've got a huge oil rig type of scaffolding standing in a liquid metal ocean holding up a behemoth-sized glitchy factory. All of that sounds crazy enough, but it's about to get darker and way more mysterious from here. Just like the name The Foundry implies, this place makes things. And when I say things, 
I mean, that's like the only word that can describe these things. They're literally so random and they don't make any sense, but for some reason, this factory makes them. All of the goods and the objects in this factory are kind of for industrial or military use, but even then, there's no pattern to it. None of it makes any sense. For example, some of the items that have been seen so far are weaponry, like sledgehammers, multi-tools, then there are mason jars and teapots, copper wires, steel ingots, screwdrivers, ammunition, ropes, lava lamps, wrenches, duct tape, frying pans, and playgrounds. That's right, the most random assortment of objects that you've ever seen in your entire life. This factory makes it all right here. And those are just some of the ones that the foundry has made. Like I said, none of it makes any sense. And there's no way to tell why this level does this. As I mentioned earlier, the inside of the building changes in size and appearance randomly, which means that you can't map anything out. You can't map a path, you can't map where the safe spots are, because there's always change happening. Sometimes the inside shrinks down to where it's so cramped that you can't even walk, and sometimes it expands to have huge open corridors and halls. There's also another section of the foundry that has winding and confusing passageways. These paths are lined with pipes and metal support beams and are pretty loud because of all the machinery in them. It kind of looks like level 2 down here, but it's way bigger. And the last part of the level is the basement area. That's right, somehow the foundry has a basement even though it's suspended on a platform in the middle of an ocean. You can't see a basement from the outside, but it's got one. It is completely unknown how this even happens, but oh well. <laughs> it's the back rooms. Pretty much there are elevators that can take you down a bunch of different shafts to get to a bunch of different sub-level type zones. All these places look industrial like the first floor with all the machinery and stuff, but as you go down, it gradually gets more and more eroded and disgusting and broken and cracked. And the further down you go, the less anything makes sense. Everything just continues to degrade the further you go. There are pathways that have completely broken in half and you can't get past them. There are pipes bursted. There are rooms completely flooded. There are even areas in these caverns of metal that open up into actual stone caves. But more on that in a second. No one knows who or what built the foundry or why it produces such weird objects or how there's miles of basement levels, even though there's no visible basement from the outside. But what is known is how dangerous it can be if you get stuck in the depths of the basement. There's no lights, flooded hallways, and constantly breaking and chipping metal, which all add up to be a recipe for disaster. One theory is that the foundry itself is sentient and has some kind of intelligence that we don't understand. And to be honest, that's the best explanation because it's easier to believe that than if something else built this forsaken hunk of metal. While traveling down into the depths of the lower foundry levels, some explorers noticed a huge cave type opening that had not been explored yet. This isn't crazy or anything since huge caves and chunks are always down there, but this cave was freezing cold, like with ice and snow, and they even found weird electronics and lamps inside of this cave, and all of them were on, like the lamps were just glowing. And in another deep exploration down into the dark basement, there was a random opening that led into a weird house. But the second the explorers walked out of the metal cave into this house and jumped in the room, they were chased by, quote, non-human entities. Whatever that means. They ran away from these entities deeper into the house to hide until they eventually found a weird-looking out-of-place industrial metal door. And when they opened it, what do you know? They were sent right back up to the platform of the foundry. So weird, dude. None of it makes any sense, and that's exactly why this is a great level. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Now, if you are still watching, you're awesome. And just go comment the keyword Brugly Factory. And if you do that, I'll throw a heart at your comment because I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your endless support, liking, subbing, watching, commenting. Thank you all so, so much. I really genuinely appreciate you. We're just expanding everything across all my channels. And I'm just, I have so much plan. <laughs> like, I cannot get that point across. You guys are just awesome. I appreciate you all. Make sure to go check below and check out Toogly and Spoogly. I get I upload like five times a week on each channel over there. If you want more of me, more of me's over there. Make sure to just comment that keyword and make sure also to have a great day. Thank you for everything and I will see you in the next video. Peace.